Dearest ones, I can only imagine your faces when I squeeze my eyes tightly and allow my thoughts to drift away. Drift away from waves of climates crashing. Drift away from the realities of continued extraction. Drift away from the images of public executions of black and brown bodies, documented daily in shaky phone videos, curated and fed to the insatiable feeds. My thoughts left to digest in the belly of this beast. Dearest ones, on the day I began to write you this, the headlines read, Remains of a young indigenous woman have been found just outside of Winnipeg, more than nine months after she disappeared. Today there is a mama who once sat and imagined her baby, as I now sit and imagine you existing in her very own nightmare, her daughter buried in a ditch. Dearest ones, it is one of my greatest trepidations that one day you may learn how trauma wakes up trauma. Her name echoes in my thoughts and is now attached to the thousands of other names of women who could have been your aunties. Names I carry with me, like iron-casted flower petals overflowing from a basket made of cracking willow ribs. I hope you are born with my mother's hands, the only one strong enough to hold such an inheritance. Dearest ones, the Thunderbirds came back yesterday after their long departure from our territory. I wished for them. My thoughts are silenced by their singing and dancing. They bring medicines for the land as grief and teardrops are hand in hand. I often wonder if they hurt like us. Do they ache? Is this the composition of hailstorms and earthquakes? If you were stolen, I would become a never-ending hurricane. Dearest ones, if you're existing in physical form, it's because my heart went a long debate with my mind that pushed and pulled between being too fearful for your own safety to call you forward, but having so much faith in your goodness and strength that it relinquished the fear. I hope you know by now that you come from a lineage of strong people and belong to a very beautiful territory. I hope you've experienced the magic of sipping water from over the side of a canoe at Clearwater Lake. I hope the water at Clearwater Lake is still clear. I hope you felt tiny surrounded by miles of rock and birch trees and know the sweetness of wild blueberries. I hope you felt the tingle of your legs as you stepped into the warmth of your cookum's house after a day in a frozen lake. Lake. I hope you've been lost on the land, but not scared. Dearest ones, I wrote down all my fears. I needed them to be elsewhere than in my mind, and this page seemed like a much safer place. I marked it with fear and turned those fears into questions. I brought those questions to some of your aunties. They told me, you come from a long line of women reaching right back to the original life source that continues to manifest creation in bodies that wars are waged upon. If you are existing in physical form, it's because the life force of these women lives in you because it lives in me.